Okay. All right, we got uh, Mike on the left, JT on the right. Let me move out of position, guys. Okay. All right, uh, we're going to do the hip roll juji. This is one of the core applications of jujigatami. Remember, there are four core or basic fundamental applications of jujigatami. The back roll jujigatami, the hip roll jujigatami, head roll jujigatami, and also spinning jujigatami off the back. And we'll have plenty of videos of each of these in this DVD. So we're going to take a look right now at the hip roll jujigatami. Okay, it's a popular way, it's a popular version of it, and it's, it's really a good one if the head roll doesn't work, you can get the hip roll. So, Mike, go ahead and start your position. Now, in this case, he snaps him down, he snaps JT down, and D JT is on elbows and knees. Now, he's going to get his position, he's going to get his hooks in, basically, get to the backside here. And as he starts, well, now we're going to analyze this point here. Now, when Mike does this, you see how he came over, see how he's posted on the top of his head. See how he's on the top of his head? All right. Look at his left foot. His left shin and foot and, and knee, knee is bent, and it's really driving uh, JT's head down a bit. Okay. Now let's look over here. Mike's right foot is what we call anchored to JT's left thigh. Thigh or hip, either one is good. Now look at the position these guys are in. Kind of looks like an L, doesn't it? So that's the position Mike wants to be. That's the most advantageous position for him at this point. Notice he's on top of his head. Mike, do it, do it poorly and roll over on one shoulder. Bad news, don't do that. It's weak, you've lost position. If you're the attacker, stay on top of your head. It gives you a field of vision and your choice of which way you want to roll. Either roll him, uh, the bottom man, over his head, head roll, that's why we call it head roll, or roll him toward his hip, that's why we call it hip roll. So you can see Mike has his options. Okay, Mike, come up again, start again if you would, and we'll let you kind of go through it slowly then. So in this case, he snapped him down, he got behind him, he got his hooks in, he got position. Notice how he's crawling all over him, getting to business. Now, Mike's left arm is starting to trap JT's right arm. You can't see that very well, but that's what he's doing, okay? And he's on top of his head. And notice how Mike is very compact and close into JT. His hips, his knees are very close in. Now, with his right hand, he's posting himself if he needs to. He may be putting his hand on his opponent's leg, whatever, to keep him from moving, whatever it may be. He may just keep, keep him from standing up. He may be just trapping him. But at this point, he's posting with his hand for balance. And it's good stability. Do it. Now, so Mike is going to maybe try, he definitely will try, to maybe do a head roll juji, and so he's going to roll him, roll JT toward his head, but JT makes a decision he's going to pop his head free and pop up. In this case, Mike hook, hooks under and rolls him toward his hip, toward J, uh, JT's hip. So let's take a look at that again. Now we'll do it a little faster. So Mike pops him down, he comes in, sets him up, Head up, rolls him over, and look how Mike uses his left leg. And if you judo guys and jujitsu guys, you know that's Osotogari type move with the leg. You're hooking and reaping really hard. So let's look at that again. So that's the basic way to do hip roll juji. Come to the side, come in there, come over there, and hook it under and whip him over. Now, he may, JT, this time when you're down, just have your head up where you're an open target, he can do hip roll juji just right off the bat. He doesn't have to try head roll to start. His head's up, he likes that, he can roll him right over, and you can see, see how he finishes into a nice leg press, trapping and levering. Okay, now sometimes, in fact often, Mike may be trying a head roll juji, and he gets it, he gets in position, and he's really trying it hard, he's doing his best, but in this case, JT may use his left hand to pull it free, to pull the leg free and pull his head out. And he's, he's, he's trying to get out of trouble. So he's trying to shuck that leg over. And now Mike is going to hook under and switch over to a hip roll. He's going to change directions. And so instead of rolling him over his head, to JT over his head, he's going to roll JT toward his right hip. So here we go again. Hook in there. He shucks it free. He rolls into the direction of JT's hip. And there you have the hip roll juji. Again, this is the this is one of the four core juji gatamis. You guys, can you think of anything right off the bat? Any, anything I, I should mention? Either one of you guys. That... 
point to anything out. You both are very, very good at Jujigatami, so I'll pick I on your. I really like to focus when I'm doing it. I'm really controlling their posture. I want them to pop up because I've got them here. So before I get this hook in, I like to really drive their head into the mat. So you want to drive his head into the mat? Yeah, control there. Maintaining control the entire way before I get each hook each spot where I'm transitioning. I'm maintaining control. And that way I can start the move pretty quickly. So by keeping his head head pressed to the mat, you're really pinning his head down and controlling it further. Okay? And in this case, you're in a perfect position to do head roll. And there you can flip that over and do a head roll juji. So see, by staying, Mike staying on the top of his head, it gives him options to, to be able to do that. And um, so there we have the uh, hip roll variation of Jujigatami, one of the four core applications. Thanks a lot, guys.